Hey y'all. Ew. Hi. Okay, welcome back to my channel. So today, um, what? Mm. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> Oh, this is so hard for me. You guys have no idea. It's so hard for me to do fucking intros. <laughs> so today we're gonna be doing Gemini. It's so hard for my camera to stay up. My camera. My camera. Uh -huh. Hi guys, welcome back. Probably not. Hi, today we're doing Gemini's. Mm -hmm. Um, I have quite a lot to say about Gemini's. <sighs> Just from my experience and the Geminis that I've met and known, the majority of them I typically don't get along with. Now, that's not my fault, okay? I just don't think our vibes really mend. Like every single Gemini I've met, we get along at first and it's fine, but then I end up hating them in the end. So it's like, <sighs> here we are. And we're gonna be talking about them. I'm gonna be nice because there are a lot of good Geminis out there and I'm not gonna judge someone based on their zodiac sign, okay? Even though that's what this whole video is about. So I think I'm gonna go for, uh, I think I'm gonna go for like half my face like really sweet and innocent and nice and then half my face like really like me. <laughs> because sometimes when I meet Geminis, just from the ones that I've met, they have two different sides, okay? One side is super nice and they get along with everyone. They can adjust to any situation. They're thriving, they're great at parties. They're great when you first get to know them, but then once you get to know them, you realize that there's another the fucking side to them. I'm sorry, I'm being so mean. I'm just, I'm biased, okay? I'm biased because I met a guy that was a Gemini that really fucked me over. So yeah, they're kind of like chameleons. They can adjust to any situation and they have two sides to them and you only get to know the other side of them once you get to know them. So let's get started, shall we? I'm gonna start out with my eyebrows. I already have my base on because you guys have seen that two times already. If you haven't, go back and watch the other videos that I made. Um, I didn't want to waste time today because the video's getting really, really, <laughs> really long. So I'm trying not to talk too much and I'm also trying not to show as much as like the stuff that I don't need to show, I won't show because you, you've you seen it before. My whole 24 subscribers have seen it, so. <laughs> Something different, I'm gonna use the NYX um, brow pencil today and I'm gonna make this the designated, hmm. Mean side. This is gonna be the designated side. But the base was gonna be the same for both of them, so. I wanna set this up so you guys can like actually see what I'm doing. Uh, so Gemini's element is air. So wait, this is the mean side. So I have to make my eyebrow mean. Well, from the Gemini's I know. Their strengths are they're actually like very affectionate people. Really nice, affectionate people. Sometimes <laughs> they can be, they definitely can be. And if they care about you, obviously they're going to be. I feel like they're also really selfish. Honestly, guys, this is based off my experience with Geminis, so please don't get mad. I'm sure you're a great person if you're a Gemini. And some Geminis I've met, I am still friends with to this day. So I'm not judging anyone solely based on their zodiac sign. But the one guy that fucked me over, I'm judging you. <laughs> if you're in a relationship with a Gemini, it'll be like a very affectionate, like, PDA relationship, very touchy. They like to show that they love you. They will show you that. They're always trying to get to know everyone and, and adapt to that person's personality. Literally one of their strengths it said was that they're adaptable. Like I said, they can really just like skeesh their way into any situation and be fine. I feel like Geminis know that they're like bad bitches typically and that they can get away with a lot of things because of their personality and because they can be really manipulative. They get away with it and that's why they're like super selfish. <laughs> so yeah. Check for us nipping at your nose. Tiny town. I'm sorry, this is going up like way later than the other video that I made already because I'm quite, um, what's the word? I'm quite lazy. So I always like intend to film, and, like edit, but then I also intend to sleep all day. So, you know, my schedules don't really line up in that sense. You guys want to know about the guy that fucked me over? <laughs> so 
that's a fun story to tell while I do my eyebrows. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. We're good now, we're, we're fine. We're like friends. I mean, we don't like hang out because we live in different places, but we are acquaintances, let's say that. It was when I went to Kansas last year. I feel like I shouldn't be telling this much information, but everyone, that, every like all my friends that watch this are gonna know exactly who this is about. I'm like embarrassed because listen here, this guy was not my type. Mm. No, he really wasn't my type. He really wasn't that cute. And for some reason, I gravitated towards him. He he had me under his little spell. Like There were so many girls that I knew that fell for him, including my roommate before me. Okay, this is making me sound really bad, but trust me, it's fine. He just fucking wanted to destroy people's lives, and I really didn't, you know, fuck with that. But apparently I did for a while. He always, no matter what girl he was talking to, he had this girl from his high school that he dated for like four years. And they both went to the same college, which is dumb, first of all. But they were always together, even when they were seeing other people, you know? It was one of those things where they're like, oh, you'll always be my person. My one person I'll always go back to. Disgusting! But yeah. I'm not bitter at all. <laughs> so, uh, what had happened was I was friends with this guy first. It escalated because we just like would flirt with each other, which is fine. But like, it felt more than friends to me. So one night when we were hanging out, he kissed me. And that was interesting. So then I was like, oh my God, I love him. Like, I love him. Like, it caught feelings right away. The feelings, they got stronger once I thought he liked me back. Remember that, I thought he liked me back. I don't really remember exactly what happened because I don't want to tell the story wrong and like make people mad, but I'm pretty sure every time we get super close and like I thought he liked me, he would do some shit with his ex. And then I'd be like, I see the game you're playing. And I do not appreciate it. So yeah, he would always get back together with Zex no matter what. And I wasn't even being singled out because he did this to every single girl before me. So I should have known, right? But I didn't, cause I'm stupid. So he would do that. And then no matter what, I'd be like, I'm done. I'm done I'm with done him. With I'm him. so done. I tell my roommates, I said, I'm done. done. I'm not gonna deal with this anymore. This is bullshit. I deserve better. They told me the same thing. Then he started flirting with me again and told me he'd stop talking to his ex for me. And that he liked me. Lies, 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 yes! Did I believe him? Yes. I should have known, but my feelings got the best of me. For some reason, I couldn't stop going back to this boy. Moral of the story, I'm a dumbass and boys ain't shit. Yeah, that was a fun time in my life. That's the reason why Gemini's stress me out. I feel bad too, cause it's totally biased. And like whenever I meet someone and I'm like, oh, what's your sign? And they're like, I'm a Gemini. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> what are you gonna do? He ruined it for the whole bunch, didn't he? And you know what the funny thing is? His girlfriend was also a Gemini, or his ex. I was like, well, you guys are just meant for each other, aren't you? Anyways, let's get on to the eyeshadow. I'm gonna be taking this one right here on the sweet side. Never trust Gemini. Maybe that's just like boys in general, like never trust boys. Don't trust them. Don't trust them until you know you can trust them. And even when you think you can trust them, you can't. So don't. Sorry guys, this got really deep. I'm not trying to make this a sad video. Story time. I'm gonna take this little Real Techniques brush. <laughs> I'm gonna take a shade right here and just deepen the crease a wee bit. Remember, this is my like, I'm sweet side. I can relate to anyone. It'll make you feel better if you're crying in the bathroom at a party. And then I'll stab you in the back a week later. I'm sorry, I'll stop, I'm being mean. So now I'm going to take this pink right here and just put, oh my gosh, oh my goodness. So, bit of an issue. A bit of a technical issue happened. I stopped recording. <laughs> when I was doing this eye. And I already started this eye and I said a bunch of stuff and now I feel bad, but I don't want to re-record everything. So I'm just going to tell you what I did. Basically on this eye, I just put that pink shade I showed you on the lid and in the inner corner and on the brow bone. Then I took the two deeper shades I used in my crease and put them on the lower lash line. And took this nude pencil and put it on my waterline. So that's the eyeshadow for that eye. That. For this eye, I took a bit of First I took this guy, then I deepened it with this one and this one and put that on the outer corner. And that's all that has happened since 
my camera decided to stop recording. <laughs> so yeah, I would re-record it, but it's the exact same thing that I did on this side, just with different colors. <coughs> Who did that? Cora, was that you? Mm. What I was about to do, go in with these two, I think, and just put that on my lid. Oh wow. That's an angry color right there. Holy shit. I don't know your home. This is my roommate, Cora. Because we have a big pit bull coming in like 20 minutes. Wait, what? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Really? Oh shit! Oh no! Okay, that's why I'm like making it look nice. Oh! I'm excited. Yeah, she's staying the night. <gasps> Just tonight? Yeah. She's okay. Back tomorrow morning. Yay! I'm just gonna come up to your video like, what? Oh my god. My getting a pit bull. Cora's doing this little app thing where she's getting paid to watch to babysit dogs and I've never been more excited in my life. I'm really, really, really debating on just stopping this video and not doing this look and um, just showing just you guys, showing the, you guys dog the dog and kind of vlogging because I just wanna see the dog but that would kind of ruin the point of my series that I'm doing. But like, you heard the story, it's kind of like a story time slash vlog and like... <sighs> so since I'm at the point in my YouTube career where I only have 24 subscribers and I don't think you guys are gonna get that mad if I do this. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna start vlogging the pit bull and vlogging my day. But yeah, you basically get the gist of what I was trying to do. Kind of failed. Basically, Gemini's, or this Gemini guy. So he was very two-faced and could adapt to any situation where he was really um, nice and manipulative and told me he liked me and said there was no one else, even though he's dating sex the whole time. <laughs> it made me feel like a piece of shit. Anyways, I'm gonna vlog now. You get it. Love most Geminis. Girl Geminis I actually typically get along with, besides his ex-girlfriend. But most girl Geminis. So, sorry, I'm an idiot. And yeah, I'll talk to you guys in like five seconds when the pit bull comes. Okay, bye. Bye, uh, bye, bye. I'm sorry, I'm stupid. Cora, why'd you put the fireplace up? <laughs> we have a dog coming and I wanted to feel really comfortable. <laughs> Uh, we're waiting. I'll show you the Christmas decor. It looks better at night, but let's show you right now. Got our stockings right here. We also got a little kale. Kale's our snake. We got kale, a baby stocking. So then we got some lights. The Christmas lights over here too. They're not on because it's day. Fireplace going for the dog. We have these little trees and this candle. Then I have that Christmas Pillow, that's, that's the word. word. And then a Christmas blanket, another tree and another thingy, another candle, Christmas cheer. It's super cute in here, super cozy, super fun, super fresh. My dumbass forgot to mention that we literally have a whole ass tree. That's Maurice, he says hello. And another candle right here, but let me show you what we did. There we go. The tree lights up. Can you see, can you see, can you see yourself? It's already allergic. She rubbed against my legs while like they were itchy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's, it's Mona. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. Oh, you're so cute. You're just so cute. Ow. What are you giving her, Cora? What is that? It's your allergy meds. <laughs> <laughs> you need your allergy medicine, Mona? Mona. Oh, oh. She yawned. <laughs> This video took a really weird turn. I also look like shit, <laughs> but um, yeah, so uh, yeah. Sorry this video took such a weird turn. Uh, I really didn't expect that to happen, but then I was like, I kind of want to show them this dog. And then I was like, do I really want to finish his makeup? And I was like, no, but yeah. Talk to you in a little bit. We are taking Doge for a walk. Cora looks like she's gonna kill someone. But other than that, 
It's a beautiful night here in Los Angeles. Where's the moon? There it is. I thought that light was the moon. Oh. So we're trying to get Miss Mona here to take a dump, and she won't. Go party. So yeah, that's the end of the video. Gemini suck. Sorry, it was all over the place, but shit happens. So well, it's not happening right now. It's not shit. shit isn't happening right now. You're correct. Talk to you guys next time. Say bye. Bye. Bye, Mona. Bye, Mona. Oh yes.